Grand Ole Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I spotlight the West Wing. November 6, 1902, Theodore Roosevelt held the first cabinet meeting there. At the President's request, the GOP-controlled 57th Congress had appropriated funds for temporary offices next to the White House. The new building replaced greenhouses dating back to the Buchanan administration. Mr. and Mrs. Roosevelt and their six children would no longer have to share their residence with staffers and reporters and whatnot. It would be his successor, William Howard Taft, who would oversee construction of a permanent structure, including an Oval Office. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.